grab some mead or whatever you need. I'm Corey, and it's time to get into it. The first thing we're going to be covering today is going to be this email I received from Twitch. Now, I'm not really a Twitch streamer. I don't do anything on Twitch. I did for a long time. That used to be my primary platform. Um, there's a whole lot of reasons why I don't stream on Twitch, why I don't stream at all. The main thing is when I'm doing videos, it allows me the opportunity to take a few minutes out of the day and sit down at my computer, record the video that I want to record, and then go on with my life while I'm waiting for the rendering to happen and everything like that. I don't have to dedicate multiple hours a day every single day to sit down in front of my computer and tell my wife and son to leave me alone while I work. Um, instead, I can just record the video at my leisure and then upload it. Another reason that I stopped streaming on Twitch is the platform. The platform itself, now this was before um, my current stance on it, uh, the platform started to change. It started to go from gaming and a platform that I really liked to stream on because I could play my music when I streamed to a platform that really incentivizes people to be as sexual in nature as possible uh, and call it gaming. That's not something I really agree with. That's not something I really appreciate. There's channels that are, or not channels, but there are websites specifically made for that and I don't understand why it needs to be on Twitch. Regardless uh, of that, the other reason is because they started changing their policies on music. I liked Twitch over YouTube as far as streaming went because I knew that if I played music or if it, there happened to be some type of copywritten music, copyrighted music, in the games that I was playing, Twitch wouldn't have an issue with it. Things have changed. That's not the case anymore. So let's go ahead and read through this updated uh, video on demand and copyrighted material notification system that Twitch has. It says Kamal1319, which is my handle over on Twitch when I did stream. Uh, we're introducing new copyrighted audio warnings to give you greater awareness and control over the VODs video on demands you share. What happens today? If our system detects copyrighted audio in your VODs or clips, it will automatically mute the video on demand and delete any associated clips on your channel. We do not automatically delete your VODs. This reduces the risk of your channel receiving a copyright strike, but doesn't give you information about the copyrighted audio or give you tools to automatically unpublish VODs by default until you can take action. That is something that's been in their system for a while now. That's just kind of how Twitch has worked for a while. So what's changing? Now, when multiple instances of copyrighted audio are detected in your VODs and or clips, we will also send you a notification on Twitch, uh, as well as email you details about the copyrighted audio, including the name of the identified copyrighted material. And furthermore, or lastly, link you any, any VODs associated with that material. Furthermore, we will update your stream settings to unpublish your VODs by default moving forward. Your unpublished VODs can, uh, can be reviewed and either published or downloaded from the video producer page of your creator dashboard. The reason that I'm doing this is because this actually went to my promotional material um, email location. It didn't go to my standard email location. So there may be some smaller content creators, some smaller streamers that aren't aware that this is happening, didn't get the email notification that this is happening. So hopefully this can bring light to changes that are being made over at Twitch. Uh, copyrighted audio warnings indicate that your content may contain unauthorized copyrighted material, which can put your channel at risk of receiving copyright strikes. These warnings can help you make more informed decisions regarding what type of content to include in your channel moving forward and are not copyright strikes. Although it is not recommended, you do have the option to toggle your VOD settings back on. 
and you can disable copyrighted audio warnings altogether in your stream settings. And then there's a link to learn more. Now, this isn't something that I can put the link to in the description because, well, this is an email and it wouldn't work that way anyways. But I hope that this doesn't put a hindrance on anybody that is currently streaming on Twitch. I know that there is a big market for people to take their streams and then re-upload them um, onto YouTube as videos. And this, this may put a hindrance on this. With the copyright audio and copyright strikes coming to Twitch, I don't know. I, I've always liked Twitch for the reason of having the ability to, like I said earlier in the video, listen to music while I stream. I like music. I like listening to music when I play video games. Unfortunately, that's not something that's possible when you're uploading content or putting content on YouTube if you want to still be able to monetize your videos. So, I never really considered streaming on YouTube as a viable option. That's why I streamed on Twitch when I did stream. But even now, it seems like people are going to start getting copyright strikes if they haven't been already. It's been many years since I've streamed on Twitch. And I don't know. I don't, I don't see Twitch really going... Um, I don't see Twitch really continuing to be the big heavy hitter platform uh, that it was for a long time. I think that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be switching over to uh, it's called alternative platforms, but I don't really think that's a proper name for them. Uh, additional platforms. I think one of the best ones, in my opinion, is Odyssey. I have an Odyssey channel. All of my videos here on YouTube get uploaded to Odyssey because... I mean, why not? Why not have more content put in more places? Um, so yeah, that's my opinion on this. Not going to take too much more of your time regarding this Twitch change. Uh, I hope that you guys are having a great day and I got some more stuff coming out here shortly. I'm out. Like, share, comment, subscribe.